Well, I found another four of these queries in the skip. There was a skip full. There's probably about 200 of these. I'm going to do some load checks and uh, like to see what the current rating is or what the current is flowing through these LEDs. So this whole Cree LED lamps. There's a full populated one. The other ones are not fully populated. That's a Cree. And I'm going to do some tests. And I've got luckily my analog meter here. It measures watt hours. Got three decimals, so this lowest pointer is uh, two watt hours. These things have um, awkward gear. By push these two clips off. Pop this up. It's obviously designed to hang on the post, but because when I flip it over here, this comes off and hangs loose. Um, I need to work out where the power goes and connect it up and see if it works. These things have these horrible push connectors, so I've got the wires in here. Active, earth and uh, neutral. Um, I'm not sure what the rating is, I think it's 200 watts, yeah. 200 watts or thereabouts. Now I'm going to energize and we'll see what happens. I'll put the camera on the power supply just in case that it's failed. I got fucking smells and all and see what happens. Energized device. Oh, it's working. Yeah, it's good. Let's throw these lamps out. Nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with them. It's such a wasteful society. So the lamp is working. I'm happy. I want to do a current measurements. Um, I think I've worked out all these LEDs on series. They're on series, so I'm gonna put an emitter on there because when I take these chips out. I want them at a lot lower current and it's still quite bright. Let's have a look at our meter. It is running, I think. Oh, yeah, it's flying. Hey, there's the mark going, so that's good. See, it's eating the watts. The watt, watt dial is pointing. I've tested this meter, this meter is less than half a percent out. So as long as I've been turning it on, it was on uh, 5, it's now on 9 point, nearly on the zero. So it's not a 5 watt hours we eat eaten already. Again, the supplies going in through these wires here, they're all uh, series arrangements. They're going in the chips, come out the chips, and then go to the other one. So I'm gonna see how I'm gonna connect this up. Oh there might be two circuits here and it's two circuits so it might be half half. So I'm gonna about splice an emitter in there at some stage and I'll see what readings we're gonna get. There's also a level gauge in these meters or in these lamps I mean. Photo cell is in there with a the remote chip at the bottom. Search diverters power supply the Philips, uh, I think Philips, yeah. I bet they wouldn't be cheap, these lights, but... Throw away society we live in, we'll throw a lot of stuff away. So the way this works, they've got two circuits so out of this conduit here. they got the red going in. As there one black comes out, which turns into a white. Which is looped into this one, to the middle string. White goes to the red, comes back out, it's a white, another one, comes out of this, goes in the red, comes out to black, and that black goes back in. So that's the top circuit. So there's three of these on the first, so that is uh, 60 LEDs, and then the bottom one, I should have put a color in there too, that feeds the far away LEDs. So in short, the top circuit feeds these three. The bottom circuit feeds those three LEDs and I'm gonna do a, I just want to see the current on these LEDs so I'm gonna put an emitter in one of these jumpers. Emitter is connected. And we're gonna energize the device and let's see what happens. Energize the device. DC, so I need to go on DC range. 
So they're running at point, nearly point seven amps, six hundred ninety. That's a high current. Six hundred ninety milliampers, or zero point six, zero point seven ampere. That's a very high current for these LEDs. Okay, the design for it is sitting on heat sinks, so I'm gonna, of course, reduce that because they have adequate light at about 100 milliampere. So yeah, that's exceeding my expectations. So the total of both clusters will be about yeah, 1.2 ampere, 1.2 ampere, yeah. The voltage check as well. I'm just doing a voltage measurement on one of these uh, 20 LED strings and that yields in uh, 62 volts over 20 LEDs, so that's just over 3 volts per LED, they are wired up in series and they run, uh, at, running at almost uh, 0 0.7 ampere. This test we're gonna enjoy the green light hopefully, we'll see what happens. Starting up orange. And I get the green. It's gonna be good. The LEDs are too demanding at the moment, too bright. Might the decapsulate those. Ah there we go, the green is coming through. The green lights. Power meter is grinding away nicely. Look at the watts disappear. Beautiful. So we've got a 250 watt SON versus a 200 watt LED. I still prefer the amber color, looks so much. Pretty well set up, so I just got it hooked up here to a couple of power boxes to the analog watt meter, watt hour meter with three decimals. So it leads to the standard YouTube power socket, which is still. We're working fine. So after running for about 20 minutes it sets about 61 volts per 20 LEDs in series. A little bit of meter action. Yes, there, watch these dials spin slowly. This meter has clocked up quite a few units. And the SPA02. I've opened one of these up, um, one of these 20 second LED things, so this, that's on here. All these LEDs are in series, so roughly just a bit over 3 volts per LED. Oh, these little things, huh? they must be junctions or something. There's aluminium here. It also intrigues me how small these LEDs are. Tiny little chips. They have such good bright light output. <laughs> 